Here's the seven recluse that I'm using. I'm using some of them because they have the perfect barrel, mass work, and mag, or a variation for me to see which one feels best. And then the others have the perks that I think work the best. So no five out of fives in this, but I have tons of them that I love. It's no surprise that Recluse is really good. I mean, just check out any of the clips in this video. They progressively get better with every single clip. And it honestly doesn't make much sense to me why Recluse is so good. When we take its stats and we compare it directly to Funnelweb, you'll see that Funnelweb has just one less range than Recluse and about three stability less, but it beats it in handling, it beats it in reload speed, it basically has the same aim assist. Funnelweb has more zoom and it has more airborne effectiveness. And it even has a bigger mag, only by one, which is a neglectable difference, but still a difference. And when you break both of these weapons down, you'll see that some of the differences is minimal, but the big difference between Funnelweb and Recluse is Funnelweb has access to Accurize, which is going to give you plus 10 range, whereas Recluse only has access to Ricochet and those rounds, which are only going to give you plus 5. The biggest thing that sticks out to me for Funnelweb is that zoom difference, and then it's going to have that extra range with Accurize, on top of the fact that it has Rangefinder in the final column. And in the first column, you can get things like Killing Wind, which is going to extend your range, extend your stability, give you more mobility. You also have things like perpetual motion, which is fantastic. It's going to give you more stability, more handling just for moving around. And then in that final column, you're going to have range finder. It's going to make that zoom even stickier, especially if you combine that with killing wind to have more range. You have things like frenzy, which if you can stay in combat for 12 seconds, you're going to get a damage buff. You have elemental capacitor. If you run void, you can have even more stability. And then when you put that up against recluse with its first column perks, you only have a couple of choices. So you have threat detector which sure you're going to be in range of threat detector because this thing works best within that 15 meter mark but you also have things like hip fire grip and all these perks will be enhanceable in the final shape but i really don't see hip fire grip being the play it's a play but i don't think it's the play and same thing with dynamic sway dynamic sway is a really good perk but this thing has a ttk once you get it rolling of 0.73 and then if you get master of arms you're going to have a ttk of 0.6 and dynamic sway does doesn't activate until about 0.6 to 0.8 seconds, somewhere in that range, and at that point your gunfight's basically over. And one great thing about this is in the final column you have tap the trigger, which is going to give you 40 stability at the beginning of your gunfight as soon as you start shooting, and it lasts for 0.8 seconds, which is perfect because the optimal time to kill with no damage perk is 0.73 so it's going to be active for your entire fight as long as you hit your headshots but typically we want a damage perk in that final column and tap the trigger being in that final column and not in the first column really really hurts it and again, I see myself asking, what is the point of Recluse? Funnelweb can do everything it can do, if not better. So why use Recluse? Why farm for Recluse if you already have that god roll Funnelweb? For me, it feels like something under the hood makes Recluse just inherently better because it feels stickier than a rangefinder Funnelweb does. And I have one. Like I said, I have one with 600 kills, and then I have two new ones that I just got like a week ago, and when I used them after using the Recluse for about 30 games, I was like, man, these things really don't feel nearly as good as the Recluse does. And it doesn't make sense because Recluse's stats just aren't there, and my funnel webs are, so why does it feel so good? And honestly, I haven't been able to figure out the answer to that, because the base roll with Feeding Frenzy and Master of Arms has stability boosting perks, and it feels fantastic. It duels great in those ranges, almost like if you add more range, you're not going to be winning duels in that range. That's really what the weapon feels like, but in the range that it belongs in, it's incredibly sticky and it absolutely fries enemy, just like the Multimoc. So I just reviewed Multimock. It's fantastic. I'm going to compare it to Multimock because they're both lightweight frames. And the big difference is the range and stability. So we have Recluse sitting at 40 range, and Multimock is only at 29. That's 11 difference. And then we have the stability on Recluse being 47, and Multimock being 38. That's a difference of 9. And then the handling on Recluse being 63, and Multimock being 70. The Recluse having 28 reload speed, and Multimock having 26. They have the same exact aim assist. Multimock has 15 zooms, so Recluse is 13. And then Recluse has more AE at 19, then Multimock at 12. They have the same exact magazine size, and they have the same recoil direction. And 
I'm going to be honest, using Multimock trying to get it to that max range by throwing on full bore and accurize with a range masterwork, it sits at 64 range and 28 stability. Now, if we just throw on Ricochet with Hammer Forge and a range masterwork onto the Recluse, it sits at 65, doesn't hurt its stability, and sits at 57 versus that 28 on Multimock. So stat package-wise, Recluse is just absolutely insane against the multi-mock and even whenever we look at perks multi-mock in the first column has access to dynamic sway so same on recluse it has access to range finder which is a really good perk and moving target which is also a really good perk under over is also niche which i talk about in my original review and then we have in the final column we have both of them having frenzy kill clip on multi mock and then we have tap the trigger on both of them as well target lock which is both you know pretty bad and then iron reach so you can throw iron reach on your multi mock to hit that 84 range which is going to be way more than the recluse but you're going to have zero stability which feels absolutely horrible i have one with about i think three stability and it feels good in the ranges it belongs in but anything out of that and it gets absolutely fried but one thing I will give the Recluse again is the fact that it has Master of Arms. So you're going to be hitting a TTK of 0.6 at, with 10 headshots. And then multi mock with Kill Clip is also a 0.6 TTK with it being 9 head and 1 body to 10 Resilience Guardians. Meaning that, yes, multi mock has that ease of use, being able to hit 9 head, 1 body, or 8 head, 2 body on 9 Resilience Guardians, or even having a faster TTK of 0.53 on 8 or lower Resilience Guardians. And all that's really great until you remember that multi mocks going to have to reload to be able to do that. Recluse doesn't require you to do that. It's going to get a kill, or you're going to get a kill with a different weapon, and your buff is already ready. So that ease of use that you're getting on the Recluse with Master of Arms is just absolutely better than multi mock Now, if I put these two against each other with feel, I'd say they both feel pretty similar I'd say that Recluse can fight a little bit more outside of its range, whereas Multimock really needs to be in its range. If it is not in its aim assist range, it's not winning a fight. And heck, Multimock will be enhanceable just like Recluse will be in the final shape. Maybe Iron Reach gets less stability taken away from it, and then you can build into stability somewhere, and it'll be even better than the Recluse's. And all that being said, this is my favorite SMG. It's not coming out of that slot. Uh, unfortunately, it has topped my funnel web. I'm so sad that I just got a god roll. But this is the first ever weapon that I got a 40 bomb in a game on. And I absolutely love it. It's not coming out of that slot. Now let's get on to PvE. So, Recluse in PvE has a few roles that I've seen people talking about. Number one that we're going to go ahead and get out the way is Repulsor Brace destabilizing rounds. While this is a great combo, that combo is only for certain people. I've never liked this combo. I'm never going to use this combo. But if you enjoy that combo, I'm sure it's great on this weapon. I see people using it. I hear people love it. If that's the perks that you like together normally on void weapons, this is not going to be any different. It's going to be great for you. Next up is the Subsistence Frenzy Roll. So Frenzy is going to max out your handling. It's going to max out your reload speed. So you're not going to need Feeding Frenzy or Enlightened Action with that. You're going to want Subsistence just to automatically reload. Funnel Web can already do this. Banshee has sold many of them several times. So odds are you probably have the God Roll Funnel Web already. If you don't, Recluse is going to do the same exact thing, feel just as good. But if you do have that Funnel Web, don't think that Recluse is going to replace it because they're exactly the same and there's no point in throwing away your god roll funnel web just to try and get a recluse unless you get that special skin on it and want to be able to have it and gloat about it you do you next up is the original feeding frenzy master of arms roll master of arms used to be a 50 percent damage bonus it's now only a 15 percent and feeding frenzy has been nerfed several times since it was initially released and while this roll still feels decent, it's not as good as the roll I'm about to tell you about next. Next up, we are looking at Enlightened Action and Desperate 
measures. So enlightened action is where dealing damage improves reload speed and handling for two seconds. Every single hit you get is going to slowly increase your handling and reload, and it stacks up to 12. So you're going to start off, first shot, you're going to get bonus two reload speed, then 7, 12, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 38, 40, 45, 50. And by the time you have 50 handling and reload speed added to your weapon, we're going to max out enlightened action at enlightened action times five that's going to give you max handling and max reload speed so you're getting the bonus of frenzy that maxed out handling and reload speed without the damage buff so once you get desperate measures it's going to be on weapon kill you get a 10 percent damage buff and on a melee kill or grenade kill you get a 20 percent damage buff but if you get a double kill with your nade or a double kill with your melee or get a kill with your melee and after 30 seconds get another kill as long as the buff still is at two times it's going to go up to 30 percent damage and with desperate measures you're going to constantly be re procking your damage buff so if you have one stack of desperate measures and get a weapon kill it will refresh to one if you have two stacks of desperate measures and get a weapon kill it will refresh to two if you have three stacks of desperate measures and get a weapon kill it will refresh to three so as long as you get that buff started as long as you get to three stacks as long as you're slaying out with the weapon you're going to constantly have three stacks up that 30 percent damage bonus the entire time it's also important to note that when you get that melee or grenade kill you don't even need to have the weapon out you will still get the buff on the weapon if you're not holding it so this is a better version of a frenzy funnel web because you're going to be having 30 percent damage bonus all the time you're going to be having that max reload speed max handling all the time as if it were frenzy but you're just going to have a bigger damage buff on top of it and while funnel web does have access to adrenaline junkie it is not nearly as good as desperate measures because it allows you to get a melee or grenade kill and then with its origin trait and dominability you're going to be getting five percent of either your grenade or melee ability which can go right back into you re -proccing desperate measures in case you lose it or you die and for those unaware indomitability is five percent grenade energy back on kill whenever you're running a light subclass and when you're running a dart subclass it is five percent on kill to your melee ability energy and i really think that that is the pve god roll this thing feels fantastic in both crucible and pve and I really don't know why, because when I look at the stats for Crucible, it doesn't make sense why it should feel so much better than Funnel Web, because it shouldn't, but it does. And then whenever you take it into PvE, no surprise there that Desperate Measures is a fantastic perk. I did not expect Enlightened Action to be the go-to for me, but I think Subsistence, the reason that I'm not recommending it, is because we have Vice Stinger on Funnel Web, which randomly reloads like 10 shots back into the magazine which is both great for crucible and pve but you're not getting that on this recluse version you don't have vice stinger and then you're not getting subsistence so you're not constantly able to just never reload like you are with funnel web subsistence by itself on an smg doesn't feel great when it has something like vice stinger or subjunctive with nano munitions it feels fantastic because it feels like you never have to reload but without a perk like that on recluse subsistence doesn't feel great Anyways, that's the review from me, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to hit that like button. If you're new, consider subscribing and click the notification bell so you get notified when I make new content like this because I make new content all the time and I'm getting Midnight Coup and Mountaintop videos out to you guys next week. And if I have time, you'll probably see either Hung Jury or Fallen Guillotine. And if you're curious about Edge Transit, I'm going to have a short on about that here really soon. But I will have reviews on all of the Brave Arsenal weapons by the end of the event. So thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video, whatever it may be. And have a great day.